go to our state capital watch tonight. Our state lawmakers back to work in Denver for the next four months. With priorities on transportation, education, and funding sources for several projects, the House and Senate will have their work cut out for them. News 5's Allison Zimmerman live again in Denver tonight, breaking down this first day. Allison. Yeah, Rob and Elizabeth, both the House and the Senate laid out their priorities when it comes to transportation funding and looking at some reform for the state's pensions program. Now, we also heard from Speaker of the House, Crisanta Duran. She took times out of her took time, excuse me, out of her remarks to address the sexual harassment allegations among members of the legislature. 71st General Assembly of the State of Colorado. Got an exciting year coming up, some big challenges to tackle. Senators and representatives laid out the top priorities ranging from topics like transportation, education, and health care. I'm really excited to dig in and look at the cost of health care in Colorado and see if there's not ways that we can come together and really protect Colorado. With transportation, an issue many in southern Colorado may be following, the widening of I-25 between Monument and Castle Rock funding for which the Senate calls a top priority, especially in light of a possible toll road on the stretch of the interstate. Logistics, it's hard, it's expensive to manage. We should not be doing toll roads. It's to be, uh, as I talk to citizens, and, I, and I'm open uh, to this discussion, uh, as I talk to citizens, they, they seem to be open to the idea of tolling on a fourth lane. During the interim, reports of sexual harassment among lawmakers gained attention. House Speaker Crisanta Duran addressing those claims to the House. Let's our actions show that the intolerable will be tolerated no more. Her comments receiving a standing ovation from several representatives. Among some of the biggest concerns for lawmakers this session, we'll be figuring out a way to tackle the state's pension program. My biggest fear would be that we leave here um, in May and not have done something. Governor Hickenlooper was not here today for the start of the legislature, but he will be here tomorrow for his final state of the state address, which we will cover. We should also mention this year, 2018, is an election year with many of these representatives and lawmakers running for re-election and other positions at the state and national level. For now, watching out for you at the state capitol, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.